All right, guys, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. But uh, basically what you're seeing right now is a single elimination bracket, which is what we're all familiar with in PvP, where it's you win one, you go to the next round. You lose one, you're out, you're eliminated. And the problem with that is, is that, for example, in this situation where you have a matchup like this, Tactician versus Slim, Slim has, Slim has no prayer whatsoever. So immediately, his fate sealed based off of the seating. Now that, that does bring me to the topic of the seating. And what you have right now is the, uh, the traditional seating where you have basically the top seed versus the last seed. And in sports, the reason that works is that basically the teams with uh, the highest regular season record, they get rewarded from having a good record in the regular season. So basically it's like they earn that top seed. This is different because I have the seeding based off of peak galaxy score. So basically uh, the older players that have more experience will get an unnecessary advantage over the others. So the reality is, is that we're probably going to be doing random seeding, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that topic when that time comes. But uh, yeah, this, so this is a single elimination bracket if we decide to, to go that route. Now, if I were to do a, now Swiss, that has to do with points, and we, there's no, there's uh, not really any points here. So for now, I'm just gonna go into the double, the uh, double elimination bracket, which is what I've showed you guys originally, and this is what we've been seeing. And so basically, what you see here is that this looks just like the winners bracket or the single elimination bracket, where you have you know, winner moves on in the next round, so on and so forth. But the difference here is, is that down here you have the loser's bracket. However, you, you hear loser's bracket and it's like, oh, well, I suck ass, but that's not the case. What it is, is that this is your second chance. For example, in Slim's case, if, if Tactician beats Slim and Slim's like, oh, I got no prayer. Well, he does if he goes down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a real quick simulation and I'm, I'm only going to pick the top seed, okay? So I don't want there to be no debates, drama, whatever, okay? This is just going to be a simulation if, for instance, every single top seed beats the seed lower than them. Now, here is one major difference about uh, double elimination, and it's the fact that, okay, well, double, double elimination means that, okay, you lose two, you're out. So let's take Tactician, for example, here, okay? He's number one seed, so I have him going through. He wins every single game. In a sense, this would be the single elimination bracket, and that's where we call it an end. But the difference here with double elimination is you have the loser's bracket, where all these guys have a second chance to really, you know, get to that point. And, um, well, basically, the argument here is, okay, this, in a sense, is the championship game. But should there be a second game? Like, for instance, if Tactician loses, because... If we call this a championship game, and then Kiri ends up winning, and then Tactician's eliminated, and then we're like, oh, that's it, Kiri's the champion, Tactician will be like, well, that's not fair, because I didn't lose, I've only lost one game, where Kiri's already lost a game before that. That's what the, uh, the second game is for, if necessary. Now, we can make an argument where, like, okay, well, if you make it to this point, this will be the champion, no matter what. Or we can have a, a second game where basically that means that the winner of the loser's bracket has to beat the winner of the winner's bracket twice to become a champion. But that's, that's another thing for debate that we can get into. And the final um, option would be, let, let me reset this. And do... And that would be an Olympic style bracket. Okay, that's basically, you know, like the World Cup and what all the Olympics do. And, and that is a two stage tournament with pool play. Okay, 
And this is this is what it looks like as soon as I get to the spot. There we go. Two stage tournament. And let's just I'm just gonna leave the default settings as is. And we'll just do double elimination from the final stage. Whatever. Okay, Th these are all the options we can do by the way. That I'll we'll get to the specifics later. Um Okay. All right. Now this is pool play, okay? And what this means is that basically everybody is divided into pools. And I can I can adjust the size accordingly. So this is don't don't take this as the final decision, okay? And now in this particular situation, everybody plays in something called a round robin, which basically means everybody plays everybody once. And Whoever has the best record, or, or no, these, these will be the standings, and the top two with the best record in the pool will move on to the second stage. So, like, here's what the matches would be. And, like, group A would be Tactician versus Pale, then Kiriyama, Caleb, Caleb, Tactician, Kiriyama, Pale, Tactician, Kiriyama, Caleb, Pale. So everybody plays everybody, okay? And then that would move on. And here, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just simulate this so you can see what I'm talking about. Same scenario where the number one seed would beat the number two. Like now, granted, this is extremely out of whack, and like this would be an example of what could happen with random shuffling. Is that you'll have all of these guys play against each other and eliminate each other, and then like let's say the bottom here, like like Kawhi and Slim might end up becoming like the champions somehow if they do like a little Cinderella story but whatever we'll get to that point later this will just be a quick little simulation of what the first stage would look like again if the number one C beats number two three four so on and so forth and I'll stop there I really don't feel like doing all of this all over again but uh, basically like this would be the situation like C Tactician goes three and zero. Oh, Kiriyama two and one. One and two. Zero oh and three. Okay, so the top two would advance to the second stage, which is just like what we saw before. And now what this does is that the pool play trims down the competition a lot. Usually, pool play is used when you have an absolute outrageous amount of people participate, which we are actually getting pretty close to that number. So this might be another option we could do, but uh, basically, okay. So it's not it's not it's not going to show up until I, I finish simulating all this. But basically, what you would see here is that this is a simulation of the second stage being a double elimination. So what I just described previously before, and like I, I don't know. Let's see, tactician and Kiriyama might be here and here. Now. The difference here is, is that you remember how we had that discussion about seeding? Well, pool play creates the seeding. So for, well, you know what, here, I'll just, I'll just simulate it so you can see what I'm talking about. In this case, even though it's completely impossible, I'm just going to show you what would happen with a tie. So I'm just going to put tie. And so what you see here is that, let's see, it. the system picks Frost over Gill because, huh, alphabetical, I guess that's what it comes down to. So, <laughs> all right, so if there somehow, some way, I don't even know if that's ever possible, if there ever is a tie, it will come down to letters. So yeah, there you go. And so there you have it. Okay, basically each of these pools, after all of that, that's everybody playing everybody. It's called a round robin. Each group had their own little round robin. And the top two players with the best records in each pool move on to... Let me click that again. move on to here and so what you're seeing now is that that is how we get the seating rather than having it just be decided preemptively 
with the uh, galaxy score is that like look let's see for instance okay like oh yeah so let's see uh, tactician versus me that's made because okay group group a plays group two and now what you see here is that in this particular case I in a sense would be considered the last seed of group B and tactician would be the top seed of group A so what, it, what it's doing here is, is it has certain pools playing against each other so this right here would be number one seed for group A versus number two seed for group B and so it is similar but it's a little more balanced compared if we just did traditional seeding completely with um, with just the straight double elimination tournament. So in my mind, I believe it's going to come down to if you guys, it, it's going to be double elimination. I have a feeling that we're going to be doing that. But it's whether you guys want to add pool play to the beginning to make the double elimination tournament more balanced, or if you guys just want to do straight up uh, random seeding to begin with and a double elimination or a random seeding with pool play and so on and so forth. So basically, that, that's a. I, I try to be quick, but that's as quick as I can get as a run through of uh, the different types of uh, tournaments that we can potentially do with soccer spirits.